dead leaves, seaweed, or rotten eggs too. Stir them in my witch's brew. I got magic. Terrifying treats. My name is Savannah Christian, and on today's episode, I'm going to be teaching you how to make mummy dogs. To make mummy dogs, you will need one can of eight crescent rolls, one package of eight hot dogs, and yellow mustard. The first thing you'll need to do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Then you're going to take your hot dog, and they come out of the package a little slimy, so you're going to want to wipe it off so that the crescent roll will stick to it. Um, you're going to take one triangle of a crescent roll for each hot dog and you're going to cut it into thin strips like this. It doesn't have to be any particular size at all. You just want them to be fairly small and you can stretch them out, widen them, whatever you need to do. And if it breaks like that, just mush it back together. So you're going to continue to do this for the rest of the crescent roll and you can change directions if you need to once it get short the other way. Just keep cutting like that. And then you're going to take one strip and you're going to start at the bottom of the hot dog. And you're just going to hold it down with one finger and then start to wrap it around with the other hand. And it's not supposed to look formal at all. It can have spaces in between the strips and things like that because Essentially, at the end, it's going to look like a mummy. So you just keep layering them. Just kind of stretch them out as you go. Don't worry if they tear. You can overlap them. Do whatever you need to. And then once you get closer to the top, you're going to stop with the crescent roll strips. And you're going to leave a space about a half an inch wide. That's where you're going to put the face of the mummy. And then you're going to continue to wrap up the top. And you might not use all the strips, but that's okay because you can just use them on the next um, mummy dog that you make. And you want to kind of put like a, a patch over the top of it, um, but you don't have to do so on the bottom. So this is what it'll look like when you get through wrapping it. Roughly, they all kind of look a little different. Um, and I've gone ahead and done three other ones before that. And so this is what they look like, and then you're going to cook them in the oven for 15 minutes. Mummy dog's been cooking for roughly 15 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and pull them out of the oven. Okay. And now, don't want to burn the camera. Um, I'm going to carefully lift them out of this and onto a separate plate because I don't want to burn myself while I'm trying to draw the faces on. And this is where the yellow mustard comes into play. Um, you can use a toothpick that would probably be an easy tool, but I'm going to use the tip of a knife. Um, and what you're going to do is get kind of a lot on there because it just helps. And you're going to dot on two eyes and a nose for each mummy. Um, and this is why you want to kind of get a lot because if you don't then it just smears around and you can't really see it. So you're going to do this and continue every step that I showed you for all eight of them and this is what the finishing product looks like. That's all the time we have for today on Terrifying Treats. Again, my name is Savannah Christian. Log on to theeasttexan.com for the next episode where I'll teach you how to make pretzel ghosts. My witches brew. Stir them in my witch's brew.